Welcome back everyone. Wanted to do a quick follow-up video to the oxalic acid uh, fogger and then just talk a little bit about uh, some of the methods that are used to, to deliver the oxalic acid and the, my thoughts on them, what I like the best. Um, the fogger works really, really well. However, I do not recommend this particular model. Uh, it doesn't hold up very well to the acid. It has an internal um, tank, and the tank is in, is completely plastic, and it did eat through the cap. The cap doesn't screw on anymore. It just uh, slides on and off. Um, the one I would recommend that a lot of my friends use is the Burgess uh, version. It has an external uh, reservoir that you actually can put a, I believe it's a half pint jar, so a solid glass, won't be eaten by uh, any of the acid. Uh, works wonderful. Um, the only downside to this one uh, that I've found, and it, I don't know that it's really that much of a downside because it works, the, the, the results that we've gotten with it is is wonderful um, but the, the downside is you, you don't know you're not getting a precise dose um, per colony uh, like you would with say a wand or like the the ProVap 110 this is not a ProVap 110 but it's it's a homemade version of the ProVap 110 uh, onto the wand. Uh, wand will deliver a precise dose, but it is so slow. Just so, so slow. If you have any number of hives, it's, it's just, it just takes forever. But the other thing that I found with the wand is this thing gets really, really hot. And it's so close to the bottom of the frames. Now this is a new frame so you can't see it, but I've got a whole bunch of frames in colonies that the bottom is completely blackened in the spot where the the wand set right below it because it gets so hot that it actually chars the bottom of the frame. And that's not good. So because it's so slow and uh, tends to char the frames. I really don't like this and I don't recommend it. If you have one or two colonies and it's your only option, then it, it, it does work and it does provide a very precise uh, dose. To the ProVap 110, this little tool is amazing and awesome. It's expensive if you buy the, um, the original version. Um, and I would recommend, you know, if, if you've got any number of colonies, it's worth the $485 roughly to, to buy one if you don't have the skills to make one yourself uh, because you can move quickly through your colony. You can't move quite as quickly as you will with the fogger. Again, I don't recommend this model. Get a different model, preferably that Burgess one that has the external reservoir that you can convert to a... Uh, um, glass mason jar, little half pint jar I believe. This I love and this is what I'm uh, using this year uh, because it does allow you to give a precise dosage dose with these little cups that go on. They're Teflon type uh, cups and you put your dose in there and it goes in and you do it per colony and it it gives a very accurate uh, dose. Uh, now, I, of course, I, I told you that I, I made this. It wasn't terribly hard. You, uh, the wiring was probably the biggest challenge on it, but if uh, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there that kind of help you understand how to uh, wire up one of these Vermi Rex C100s. I don't know if you can see that or not but you could do it with, with other um, controllers too. It wouldn't necessarily have to be this one. Uh, my box is a little bit bigger 
than the one that comes with the ProVap 110, but I had to get a solid state relay to work with this particular um, controller model and it just the, the box that I had before just was a little bit too small and uh, I could fit stuff in but it's just so tight it was just really hard I love this um, and of course I happen to have a vinyl cutter so I was able to make it look nice and pretty so uh, has a nice long cord on it uh, have have used it now uh, multiple times and absolutely love it and you do get a very precise uh, dose delivered this just is a protector to the uh, little tube that the vapor comes out of so of the three I definitely prefer this right here um, however the fogger if you're not terribly worried about gout about giving a very precise dose this works great and I do have uh, multiple fl friends uh, not just in the US but around the, the world that use this particular uh, method not this brand but this method so thanks for watching uh, caught several swarms I'm working on the videos uh, hopefully get those up in the next day or two um, so far I've caught three swarms uh, for 2018 uh, one of them I actually caught today and uh, it had at least five queens in it I caught four of them one of them got away with about a third of the colony never had that happen to me before it was a pretty interesting day today so anyhow thanks for watching uh, like and subscribe if you love it and uh, we'll talk to you again soon thanks for watching just because